came across a video from Kat Abu titled, If you get your news from Fox, meaning Fox News, this is what you saw this week. And it was so nicely put together. It's a compilation of clips from Fox News just over the last week. And it reveals nicely the wild world that so many people who watch Fox News live in. So just imagine if this, as you were existing day to day over the last week, was the news in heavy quotes network that you tuned into. Dick Cheney was shot in the face. <laughs> Wait, he wasn't he, shot, he in shot the somebody in the he face. He shot somebody in the yeah. face. Whatever! The most American of all pleasures, which is tobacco, that is the smell of freedom. The climate cult is really only a front for globalism and socialism. Islamist supremacy governments, socialist communist governments. The socialist climate cultism and general socialism globalism. Globalists want obedience. Every ocean I've ever swam in has been freezing. As we've spoken to some of the greatest minds, you know, the Jordan Petersons of the world and many others. Now Philadelphia is hell on earth isn't it crazy that this is our nation's capital yes and it's basically a third it's a somalia let's ban meat so we can survive the next rain bomb why don't we just make ukraine a 51st state at this point what are the chances she was a puppet of the chinese government we don't have enough evidence to prove that but we would rate that as about a hundred percent likely dick <laughs> we don't have enough evidence to prove that but we would rate it as 100 percent likely that is the slogan of Fox News. We don't have enough evidence to prove that, but believe us anyways. Um, it is so wild. People tune into that, not for comedy, for what they believe to be news. It is wild. Another video that this reminded me of that we've gone over before, but it popped in my head uh, watching that compilation, again from Kat Abu, was titled, here's just some of the misinformation Tucker Carlson peddled this year with annotations and it pops up on screen headlines that disprove um, what he's saying throughout this video. And so I just wanna remind you, because it was such a great video, what we'd gone over in the past. Another example of the bizarre and detached from reality world that so many people who tune in to Tucker Carlson, Fox News, subscribe to. The distinction between misinformation and lying is that misinformation can be true. Not a single person in the crowd on January 6th was found to be carrying a firearm. Not one. And the only insurrection in history with no guns. An insurrection that wasn't armed, wasn't planned, and didn't actually insurrect anything. Why are they calling it insurrection? Is it possible that the vaccine actually can hurt you? People who take it are more likely to die of COVID. People who get the booster are more likely to get the latest variant. Inject your children with a drug with no actual benefits. The trans thing seems pretty new. Now, gender-affirming care is a euphemism for chemical castration radical plastic surgery and other treatments for gender dysphoria. At Boston Children's Hospital, they're cutting the breasts off of healthy children. So Boston Children's Hospital is now playing the victim here. Anyone who criticizes this is a threat and a danger. <laughs> no one really believes in global warming. The IRS has its own army. Where are all these racial acts of terror committed by white supremacists? Joe Biden's latest idea is to pay black people to smoke more crack. Watergate, which no one can still explain even to this day got that you degraded freaks so dang wild great job uh cat abu and genuinely this makes me sad because millions of people see that as the person they should go to for analysis of the world and they trust that most watched cable news host right there and then fox news gets more viewers generally than CNN, MSNBC, uh, most of the time. And so a massive audience of people are getting this as their source of information, as their view depicted of the world. And what I never understand is why not, if you are a Fox News viewer, why not just go ahead and see if you can fact check what your favorite host is saying one night, just one night. Because I know myself, so often when I'm watching someone who I already have developed a level of trust for um, or trust with because they've proven themselves, still if they say something, it's kind of like, oh, wow, I'll make sure what they're saying is true. I'll go independently and try to figure out where what they're saying is coming from and how I can verify the legitimacy of 
what they're sharing. And so that is never done clearly with the audience of Tucker Carlson because what he says is so absurd, so easy to debunk that if you just spent a few seconds doing so, you would have to eject from watching him. But so many people don't. And that leaves them so misinformed, dangerously misinformed. Let me know what you think, Luke P. Beasley on Twitter.